uh, 131. And uh, we have a quorum, and we'll make Brian happy with a microphone and get this meeting started. So call to order. And we do have a quorum, as I said. Uh, review and take any action related to the minutes of the regular meeting held on Monday, August the 1st, uh, which was a no quorum. No, that was that was the last actual meeting that we had. Yes, we do have minutes. I just attached yep. them to. I do have them. Did anybody get a chance to look at them? Any comments? Accepted. Yes. Yes, a comment. No. Yes, I accept it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll consider the the minutes from the Monday meeting accepted. Uh, third thing on here, ZBA twenty two sixteen. We'll dig right in. 3215 Millbrook Drive. It's an SMD 6, Larry Miller's district. The applicant has applied for a variance from Section 501 to allow a 16-foot front yard setback facing Millbrook Drive in order to construct a gazebo for the dog park. And it's within the single-family residence RS1 zoning district. And I believe Ms. Limeberry is presenting. Tell us about it. Okay. Here we go. Sorry. New clicker. Okay, so hi, Ray Limeberry planning. Um, this is 3215 Millbrook Drive, and it's in uh, Mr. Miller's district, Sunset neighborhood, and it's zoned single family. Um, by the site plan, you can see that it is 16, I think it's 0 0.8, 16, 16 feet and 8 inches from um, the property line, which normally we have a 25-foot <coughs> setback, so it's about 9 feet short. Um, and this is it in color, so you can kind of have an idea. There's a sidewalk there. Um, and then if this does not get approved and we keep the 25 foot setback, this is where they will have to keep put it and they'll have to build a wall because it would put them in a floodplain. Um, I sent out 12 notices and we received none in support and none in opposition. Um, allowed variances, there has to be a special circumstance for unnecessary hardship, an overriding public interest or a literal enforcement and we believe that adding a gazebo will add and help maintain the development pattern. Um, the special circumstance would be if we require the 25 foot setback, we'd make them put it in a floodplain. Um, the gazebo fits into the park setting and granting the variance will not adversely affect any of the adjacent homes or the park. Um, we believe that adding the gazebo will help maintain the development pattern of the area. So staff's recommending approval for the variance to allow 16 foot setback instead of a 25 foot setback. And that concludes the presentation. Um, the contractor is here. If you have any questions for him or I can take any questions. Questions? Discussion? Are there houses around this? Um, ac across the street, across Millbrook, is some houses and an apartment complex. Nothing. Across Millbrook. Um, let me see. Yeah. So um, number five is where the park is and where the gazebo will be. And then 11 is the apartment complex. and. Six, seven, eight, four is all houses. Okay. Anybody? Questions? Anybody with questions? No? Motion to approve. No? We have a motion to approve. I'll second. Oh, wait a minute. Did you we, want to hear from Al? Hang on just a second. We have to make this legal. Okay. Do we have any comment from the public? Hi, my name is Al Torres. I'm the construction manager for the city of San Angelo. 
Uh, I'm here for any questions. I do want to clarify, this is already in the floodplain, so it's going to be in the floodplain regardless of where we put it. The issue is if we have to move it to the other side of the sidewalk, we're encroaching into the, um, the tension pond. The holding pond. And then we get into engineering and we have to get FEMA to look at it and calculate you know, how much we're going to encroach and build a retaining wall. So that's something we really don't need to get into. So. If you have any other questions, I'm available. It's an excellent idea. Thanks. <laughs> okay, if that's all the comments we have, we have a motion on the floor uh, to approve. Do I hear any Second. seconds? Yep. We've been seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. A. Uh, motion carries. It's approved and accepted. Accepted and approved. Uh, division report. Aaron, you have anything to say? Nothing to say this time. Nothing to say? Nothing today. Do we have any general public? Well, we don't have. We'll go past that. Uh, the next meeting is set up for, whoa, November the 7th? Very cool. Do I hear some uh, motion to adjourn? Second. Passed and carried. Thank you all for coming down. <laughs> <laughs>